We're back in the squeaky chair this week. Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome to my channel. My name is Cass and today we're going to be talking about the super exciting pet that I got at the NARBC Expo in February. Here they are. Yep. I got 10 zebra isopods at the Arlington Expo a few months ago. I've had these guys since February, but because it was my first experience with inverts, I wanted to make sure that I was confident in their care and that nothing crazy was happening before I showed them to you guys. Recently, I've noticed some baby isopods in here, so I think that it's safe to assume that they're thriving and that they're doing really well. So, what is an isopod? Technically, isopods are an order of crustaceans. It includes woodlice and their relatives. Isopods can be found in the sea, they can be found in freshwater, and they can be found on land. You're probably very familiar with isopods. On land, you just call them something different, like woodlice or roly-polies. Yep, these guys are just fancy zebra-striped roly-polies. Stunning. <laughs> Many people use them in their bioactive setups or in live planted vivariums because they do a really great job of breaking down plant matter and other decaying type of things that are in the tank. However, more recently, they have been growing in popularity as pets, as evidenced by this lovely Sterilite plastic tub that I keep in my closet. The isopods that I got are zebra isopods. Their scientific name is Armadillidea maculatum. I will pop that up on screen if I completely butchered it, which I'm sure I did. Maybe not. Maybe I'm getting better at it. Arm Arma... I already... I already lost it. Well, my isopods, these little zebra guys, are fairly easy to maintain. Like I said, there are several varieties and they have slight variations in what kind of humidities and temperatures they need. But in general, they need a warm, moist, dark place to live and thrive. They burrow in their substrate and break down whatever organic material is in there. I actually have my isopods in a pre-mixed substrate from Josh's Frogs. And it has coconut fiber, charcoal, um, there's little wood pieces in here, organic topsoil all kinds of stuff that is in here that's good for the isopods. I mist it down with dechlorinated water every few days and give them vegetable scraps about once a week, I would say. I know that some people feed them fish flakes or dog food, but in my experience, providing them with organic material as well as fresh vegetables is what is working best for me. I also have some cork flats in there so that they can burrow around in them and also break them down. I have leaf litter on order, I forgot to get some at the expo because I'm dumb, but <laughs> disclaimer, you can't just pick leaves up from outside and put them in here. You need to bake them or sanitize them or just purchase leaf litter because insecticides and pesticides that could potentially be on the leaf litter will kill your insects, as it turns out. Isopods can also be great for people who are kind of afraid of inverts or creepy crawlies because I think most of us played with roly-polies as kids, at least in my area, so roly-polies aren't something that a lot of people are afraid of. So they're an invert that is not so scary. They're not venomous or poisonous, they're not going to bite you or sting you. They just want to dig in their dirt and be happy little armor beans, you know? That's honestly all I have to say about these guys. I think they're super cool, but in general, they're a boring pet. Um, they're really easy to maintain, so if you want a pet that you can just kind of check up on every now and then or watch when you want to watch a little bug dig in the dirt, I really recommend them. They're quiet, they're low cost. I haven't spent a dime on these since I got them um, after they're set up because I feed them vegetables that I've already purchased for myself, so I give them that. It's no added cost. And I have several high maintenance pets, like my dogs and my cats and my rodents. So I really enjoy having a pet that I can just pop open a lid and watch them scuttle around, you know? Obviously do your research, but if you're looking for a low cost and quiet pets, isopods might be for you. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. We're almost at 50 subscribers now, which is absolutely incredible to me. I can't imagine 
other people being as excited about my pets as I am. So it really makes me happy that there are almost 50 of you now. So thank you guys so much. And if you're not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It would be super awesome and I'd appreciate it a lot. Um, if you enjoyed this video with these little armor beans, make sure to leave this video a like and leave a comment down below telling me how you feel about them. I think I'm getting into a schedule now and I plan on uploading a video every Tuesday. Sometimes there might be two a week, it just kind of depends on how my week is going, but in general I'm going to try and upload every single Tuesday. We'll see how that goes. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. Have an amazing week. Bye!